natural that a serious condition like net would uh, sort of trigger a number of changes in your lifestyle. But it was really surprising the, how big this number is. 92% of all the respondents actually reported that they had to make some considerable changes in their lifestyle, be that dietary, uh, you know, active-wise or whatever. So I think this really shows that uh, this condition aggravates uh, the lifestyle of people who have it to, to a very huge extent. With over 10 years experience uh, with the NET patient and their journey in my role of, as an advocate, I didn't understand or comprehend how great an impact it had on their life, particularly family, work and social life. Uh, it, this is, uh, again, honestly depicted um, the significance that NET has. I was a little bit uh, struck by the information that uh, so many patients couldn't work full-time and that uh, the disease itself had an impact on the daily life in uh, as much as it did and also reduced the possibility for social life and, and work life and so on. People are affected by a net on a daily basis. Again, they may look fine, but they don't feel fine. It can affect how they do work if they're currently employed. Uh, a large percentage of patients have to take days off of work. It affects how you feel. It affects how you interact socially. It affects every aspect of your life. It impacted on across every facet of their life, their work life, their family life, emotional life, um, and on a daily basis. There didn't appear to be any reprieve due to symptoms or the fatigue or... So they're, 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 during their journey, as uh, shown in the survey, it is significant, it has a significant impact, which I, I don't think I really appreciated as much before uh, we completed this survey. Not everybody understands what it's like to live with Annette, um, whether that's family or colleagues, and in part that's because this is a rare disease, so we have to help educate people. We have to educate the patients, we have to educate the caregivers, we have to educate the medical community. I think it was a good reminder for all of us who are, are healthcare providers in the field of neuroendocrine cancers. Just the experience the patient goes through, the delays that they go through, the frustration that, that can build, as well as the anxiety, as well as the impact the disease can have on their quality of life. Some of the symptoms and the psychological issues um, we haven't got so much control over. I think the results of the Global Net Survey are incredibly powerful and can have a lot of impact on our care. They want to be given the chance um, to be able to speak up and, and we really do need to be listening and this is, you know, it's just them telling us what it is and what, how they feel and, and how this disease is, is so, has such a negative impact on their life um, and I think it's vital that, that we continue to do that and that we grow and develop these surveys more, that we continue to do more, um, but also that we use these surveys to change our, our practice. Mm -hmm.